Hi, my name is Lori Felton. I'm a Pilates instructor at Myron Company in Miami, Florida. Magic Circle, love-hate relationship. Some people love it, hate it, because it is challenging, but it's a creative way to add to your floor routine. We're gonna do a quick blast Magic Circle workout, and we're gonna start laying on your back. Reach your arms straight up to the ceiling, starting with a little bit of shoulder blade movement. Gently pressing in on the circle as you inhale, and then releasing as you exhale. Inhale to press in, focusing on the muscles around your shoulder blades, and release. So when you press in, think of it being less about your arms and more about the muscles around your shoulder blades. Inhale, squeeze in, keep the gentle pressure against the roller, reach your fingertips way up high, inhale. Exhale, pull your shoulder blades down. Inhale, gently pressing in on the circle, reach the fingertips way up to the sky, and then pull your shoulder blades down. Keep the shoulder blades anchored, gentle pressure on the circle, bringing your arms back over your head as you inhale, so the circle will come right above your mat, and press your arms forward as you exhale. The shoulder blades slide down, the arms come back over your head, inhale, keeping those abdominals engaged, exhale, press it forward. This time, we're going to add a little upper abdominal flexion. As the arms come forward, the chin lowers, and you bring the circle right above your thighs, and lower your shoulders, neck, and head down, arms back over your head. Inhale, gently pressing in on the circle, exhale to curl up. Now you're going to hold that upper ab curl. Lift your arms, inhale, lower, exhale. Inhale, lift, exhale. Really firing the abdominals and lower and lift, lower and lower your shoulders, neck and head all the way down. Take the arms back over your head. Inhale, going into a full roll up. Press forward. Extend your legs. Peel your head shoulders and spine up and over. So the pressure of your hands into the circle helps to activate the scapular muscles which will help you roll up. Take your arms back over your head. Gently press on the circle as you inhale, lower your chin, soften the sternum and stretch up and over. Keep that pressure in on the circle, draw the shoulder blades down in your back and arms back over your head. Inhale, press it forward. Keep the circle right above your thighs. Curl just the head and shoulders up. Hold that upper up, curl, and pulse in on the circle. Pulse. Pulse. So you're activating the muscles around your shoulder blades. You're firing your abdominals. And it feels so good. Smile. And pulse. Hold it there. Inhale. Exhale, deepening the abdominals, stretching up and over. Roll back down, vertebra by vertebra, articulating the spine, getting spinal articulation, abdominal work, press the circle forward, hovering the circle right above your thighs, curl your head and shoulders up, lift your arms, inhale, lower, exhale. So you want to be focusing through the midline of your body. As the arms lift, you have to work deeper in your core, inhale, and exhale, stretching up and over. Stacking your spine all the way up, vertebra by vertebra. Bend your knees. We're going to go down to the inner thighs, hamstrings, and glutes. Reach your arms forward. Inhale, roll down with control. One vertebra at a time. Palms are facing down. Heels are right underneath the knees, not behind the knees. Press your triceps down for stability. Chin is lifted. Neck relaxed. Squeeze in on the circle. And out. Inhale, squeeze, exhale, release. As you squeeze, try to work both inner thighs equally. So the tendency is to overpower with one leg more than the other, our dominant. Inhale, exhale. Abs always contracting. Now hold the tension in the circle. Scoop your belly, peel your hips. Peel your spine up, keeping that chin lifted, throat open, pulse in on that circle. Pulse for 10, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, then hold it in.
try to squeeze those inner circles together, hold it, my inner thighs are shaking, yes, 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 and lengthen to lower your spine and your pelvis all the way to that level position, release the inner thighs a little bit, but don't drop your circle. Inhale, squeeze. Exhale, from your abdominals, bridge up, working hamstrings, working your low glutes, smiling big in your bottom, hold it up there and pulse for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, hold it in, hold it for 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and lengthen down, control, one more time, and squeeze. Taking a circle to transition, arms back over your head, inhale. Gently pressing on the circle, peel your head, shoulders and spine up and over. Stacking the spine up nice and tall. Sit legs crossed to get a little lateral flexion. Gently pressing the heel of your hand down into the circle. And as you press down, you want to contract the muscles under your shoulder blade. Depressing and opening up the front of the shoulder, inhale. Exhale, stretch up and over to get a nice lateral stretch. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, press down on the circle. Stretch, lengthening that left side. Inhale. Exhale, press down, stretch up and over. So we're contracting underneath the right and opening up the left, adding a little bit of rotation. And back to center and back up. Stretching up and over, inhale. Exhale, rotate. Inhale, back to center. And exhale up, switch to the other side. So use the circle for the resistance to press down on. Without it, we use the ground, we use the mat, but this provides a little extra resistance. And lift up. Stretch up and over, lengthening my right side, rotating from the waist up through the shoulder blades. Come back to center, nice feel good stretch, and lift up, and stretch up and over. Exhale, rotate, rotate, rotate. Come back to center, inhale, and exhale to lift it up. Bring the circle, the padded part will be much more comfortable, right at your, below your chest, below your ribs there, right at the front of the ribs. Take an inhale. As you exhale, keeping your spine vertical, rotate, pulse, pulse. Inhale, come back to center, and exhale, pulse, pulse. Inhale. So we're adding now vertical rotation, wringing out the ribs, keeping everything stable from the bottom rib through the pelvis. Inhale, exhale. and back to center. Bring the circle down onto the mat, laying on your stomach. Heels are in, toes are out in a slight external rotation, forehead down. The heels of the hands are pressing into the circle. The circle's flat down on the mat. Take an inhale to prepare. As you exhale, draw your shoulder blades down, keep your ribs on the mat as you come up into slight extension. Hold it there, inhale. Exhale, lengthen down. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, pull your shoulder blades down to lengthen up. Hold it there. Take another inhale. If you feel comfortable, go ahead and come up a little higher. Still pressing in on that circle, reaching down into the mat. Lengthen to lower. Inhale, prepare. Drawing the shoulder blades down, abs in. Lift to the ribs. And then see if you can come up a little higher, working that upper back extension. Abs scooped in and up, shoulder blades down. Five to eight repetitions of that, working through the spine and lower it down. This is a little tricky getting your circle into the next position, but we're gonna go ahead and put the yellow or whichever color padded part underneath the crease of your bottom and then bring the heel against the top part. Trying to stabilize it in place, this is 
killer hamstring. Your forehead is down, your shoulder blades are down, keeping your pelvis stable, so the opposite side of the hip. You want to keep it anchored. You're going to press in and out. Inhale, press. Exhale. Inhale, press. Exhale. So I'm really focusing on my abs staying in, both sides of my pelvis pressing down equally into the mat and digging my heel towards my tush to isolate that hamstring. In. Now see if you can lift the thigh a little bit. Lower the thigh. Squeeze in. Lift the thigh. Great tush and hamstring exercise. Inhale, lift. And lower. Ten repetitions. And switch legs. Try to grab the sides of the circle. Put the padded part under the cheek of the bottom. Bend the opposite knee. And find that other padded part with the front of your ankle. One must be coordinated using the magic circle. Press inhale. And exhale. And lift. Lower. Keep those abdominals pulled in to protect the lumbar spine. Lift. Lower. And up. And then go to both legs. So, grabbing the sides of the circle, putting the padded part right under both sits bones. Knees are bent. Draw the belly in. Squeeze. Release. Inhale. Squeeze. Exhale. Squeeze just to end with both legs nice and symmetrical. Squeezing those lower sits bones together. Drawing the abdominals in. Focusing on those hamstrings. And then hold it in as far as you can and gently pulse. 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 And take the circle. And lay down on your back again. Take an inhale as you exhale, bend your knees. You're going to bring the circle right above your ankle bones. Reach your arms forward, roll back down, bring the legs up to tabletop. Take an inhale. As you exhale, press your arms, extend your legs out, bend the knees, and lower down. Gently pressing through those inner thighs, lift, extending up, bend your knees and lengthen down. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, press your arms. Scoop your abdominals, lift. Hold it there, turn out those legs. And pulse, 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 pulse. Bend your knees, take the circle, and swing your legs around. Let me do a couple standing exercises. So that's a variation of teaser. Place a circle on the side of the pelvis. Gently place your heel of your hand in. Separate your feet about hip distance apart. Gently press in as you inhale and exhale. Squeeze in and out. So you're activating the muscles under your shoulder blades, lengthening your spine up now, getting a different feel being vertical and press and up to 10 repetitions and to the other side. Feel of the hand pressing, lengthening the spine, equal weight between both feet. Press in and out, inhale. Exhale, and press, and press, really feeling that connection, lengthening and pulled up through the abdominal wall, and two more, and one more, reach the arms forward, pressing in on the circle, squeezing between the heels of the hands, lifting the arms up, inhale, bend your elbows so the ring comes around the head, press straight up, and lower. Inhale, lift the arms, slide those shoulder blades down, press in on that circle, and lift, and press forward. Lift up, and bend, press, and lower, five to eight repetitions. Inhale, lift, and exhale, bring the circle behind your back. Not a whole lot of movement here, but you're really getting triceps and opening up the chest and shoulders. Press in on that circle and out. It doesn't move a lot. Squeeze in and out. It's rather humbling. And in and out. But I feel it. Squeeze in and opening up that chest, pulling in the abdominal wall. Two more. Squeeze in, out. 
One more squeeze, hold it, hold it, hold it. Lift that chest, bring the circle back around. Take an inhale, with the circle forward. Exhale, lower your chin, soften your sternum, deepen into the ribs. If you need to, soften the knees as you come down. And then use your abdominals, roll up. Equal weight on both feet and arms up. Inhale. Exhale, lower your chin, soften the sternum. Deep and soften the knees if you need to. Push through that floor. Dig down through the heels and metatarsals. And all the way up. One vertebra at a time. Lift the arms. Feeling lengthened. Aligned. Centered. Exhale to lower the arms all the way down. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed some of that magic circle. Enjoy your workout.